Our oceans are so deep, even sunlight can't penetrate all the way through them. No normal human can reach the deepest depths. No one except for Will Truebridge. The fact that you're weightless in any direction is the same as any other, and your rhythm or your sense of time passing is stopped with your breathing, means that it's almost like a free dive is a step outside of, of regular time and space. But Will Truebridge says he can withstand the pressures at these depths, and unlike most freedivers, claims he can dive over 300 feet and back, completely unassisted. I want to find out the science behind Will's dive, so I'm going to meet up with Dr. Neil Pollock. So you are the guy to see, basically, when it comes to the effects of pressure on the body at depth, right? It's certainly what we do. Is there a way that you can actually show me? Oh, yes. Lead the way. This way? Get on board. Okay, on board. I like this. Neil Pollock is the research director at the Divers Alert Network. He'll be able to demonstrate what the body goes through when diving to such extreme depths. What does happen to the body the minute it goes under the water and as it goes deeper and deeper? For each 33 feet, you're gaining an atmosphere of pressure. So when we go down 33 feet, you have the volume of gas. When you go to 66 feet, it's three atmospheres of pressure, so the volume is down to a third. When you go down to four atmospheres, 99 feet, one quarter of the volume. I'm pulling up a styrofoam cup, which Neil has submerged to 330 feet, the same life-threatening depth which Will claims to be able to withstand. All right, let's see. Whoa, hey, look at that. So that was the size of the cup when we sent it down. Okay. And that would be the micro. That this would be the freakish small one. Look at that. <laughs> so what has exactly happened here with this, these cups? Well, the pressure is acting directly on it. And that's when those polystyrene cups are made, they're, they're produced chemically, so they're an expanded form. Right. And they're very responsive to the pressure. All right, and uh, what you get is this. Indeed. That's a really cool demonstration. I mean, that's, that's the most visual thing that yeah. I've got right now that I can see. It really gives you a sense of the pressure down there. Yep. Fantastic. Will defies these powerful waters, proving himself a true master of the ocean. To hold his breath long enough, it is an art form, and not everybody can get anywhere close to it. 